Hi guys, this is Andy from This Motech EK. Today we're giving an unboxing and overview for Be Quiet. This is the Dark Rock Pro 3. Okay, so let's start off with the box itself. We've got the Be Quiet logo up at the top here, uh, along with the silent wings. Obviously, and that's the fans that are on the actual cooler itself. Dark Rock Pro 3, as you can actually see. No compromise, silence and performance, 250 watt TDP. Uh, virtually inaudible operation at 26.1 dBA maximum. Two silent wing PWM fans, immense cooling capacity and efficiency. Dark nickel plated double tower layout, compatible with Intel and AMD sockets. Moving around to this side, we've got information in multiple different languages. And on this side, we have the English and Dutch version as well. So it says here that safe cooling for high performance CPUs, even in extreme overclocking conditions. Virtually inaudible operation, 120 mm silent wing PWM fans with unique noise reducing features and inner 135 mm silent wings PW fan, which features an innovative six pole motor generator optimal balance between cooling and quietness and it mentions here obviously that we've got the dark nickel plated heat sink as well comes with a three-year warranty and you can see just down at the bottom here all the other uh, awards that this particular cpu cooler has won so moving on to the back we've got a little bit more uh, sort of specification okay so a couple of the features four aluminium top cover uh, 14 aluminium heat pipe caps um, etc so um, seven high performance heat pipes so well, let's just quickly look down at the uh, technical data uh, so the total size is a massive 163 millimeters in length 137 millimeters in width and 150 millimeters in height so bear that in mind this CPU cooler is massive we've got the uh, socket compa compatibility down here as well and we've got seven heat pipes, six millimeter diameter on the actual heat pipes. So it tells you a little bit more information about the speeds of the fans down here um, and their noise levels, etc. But we'll put that um, in the uh, detail down below on the actual video. So um, up at the top, just some branding. I'll see that's upside down. Um, and that's about it. So let's now get inside the actual box. Okay, so let's flip that down and we can remove, obviously everything comes extremely well packaged as you'd expect from Be Quiet and we can pull the cooler out of its box and we've also got some accessories in there as well so let's just quickly close that back up and we can move these bits and pieces out of the way so we'll look at the accessories box in a moment as you can see that comes extremely well protected indeed so we'll just take these off if that bottom one wants to come off I don't think it does so let's stick that down on the table okay so for the moment I'm just gonna keep the, um, the cooler itself on this sort of bit of um, polystyrene whatever you want to call that just to sort of protect the actual bottom um, and just to make it a little bit easier as I spin this monster around for you for you to have a look it's a fantastic looking cooler um, very very nice with regards to its design um, not quite sure as to where I'm going to start with the uh, sort of close up look as of yet um, I think we'll start with the top actually so you see we've got a full aluminium plate up at the top here it's got the nice silver Be Quiet logo on the top and also you've got these heat pipe caps as well on the actual top so that looks really nice very very eye-catching obviously that's more likely going to be the view that you're going to see if you've uh, got a side window on your case that's what effectively you'll be looking at so let's now put that back down also we've got the silent wings fan on the front there 120 millimeter fan the height on this is adjustable it's essentially a case of unclipping the clips you can then move it up and down depending on your requirements where it is by default seems to be quite a good location to be fair hidden inside this dual stack 
is a 135mm fan, so it's slightly larger, as you can see with the height difference on there. Um, and I see this is going to be sort of pushing air through the actual fan, bringing it out through the back of the actual um, chamber as well. So that, that fan's got a lot of work to do, uh, essentially, because it's bringing air from here, pushing it out through there as well. Moving on to the back, you can see this rather unusual design with regards to the actual fins. I see some of them sort of slant inwards, some of them point outwards. I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, but it's a very, very unusual design. It looks very well machined. The, the fins themselves are a perfect distance between them. They're not flimsy, they're very rigid indeed. So even if you were to sort of manhandle it on its sides, you're not going to damage the actual cooler itself, which is really good. I see you've got this sort of dark um, nickel coating on it as well, to, so you've not just got a silver heat sink. Everything is black, looks very stealthy indeed, although saying stealthy, you really cannot miss this. So, um, onto the bottom, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six millimeter heat pipes, as you can see here. Just bring that down. And again, I see you can see the. Um, design that's running along the actual heat sink itself a couple of little indentations here obviously that's designed obviously to help with the airflow as well um, and obviously a copper base on the bottom as you would expect obviously make sure you you remove that if you were to actually install this particular fan so the cables that come from this obviously we've got two sets of cables they are braided good plus point um, and also the fact that they come with a black connector as well. They do join together as you can see so that's a, another real good plus point. It's only going to take up one header on your motherboard so that's really good indeed. Um, but yeah that's, that's about it for the actual cooler itself. It's a very very nice looking cooler. It is obviously on the large size as you'd expect um, from Be Quiet. Um, they, some of their coolers are just ridiculous in size. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to perform any better, um, but looking at the, um, the, the specification of this particular heatsink, I, I would expect that this is going to perform extremely well indeed. So let's now um, power it up and see what the fans are like in terms of its movement and also the noise level. Okay, so the cooler is now connected up to a power supply through a four pin to Molex adapter. So this is going to be running at full speed. 1700 RPM is the speed it's going to be running at. Let me just switch it on. And you can see the silent wings fan kicking into action. 21.5 with regards to its DBA. Looks really, really good indeed. Really do love the silent wings fan. The, the, the sort of effect that you actually get from this really does look good. Um, in terms of volume of air, there feels a lot of air coming from the back of the actual cooler, which is obviously a, a good thing. Um, moving on the inside, obviously you're not really going to see the uh, internal fan moving around just purely because of the size of this and, and the way that obviously it's built. Um, but obviously that's potentially what, what it's going to look like coming through the other end. Again, you're not going to see anything, but with this with my head behind the actual camera um, I could feel a lot of air coming from the actual cooler so it's really really good indeed. In terms of noise obviously I've got a little bit of background noise at the moment so I'm just going to bring the microphone in Okay, so let's now have a look at the accessories box. See what we get inside. Inside here, we've got your installation guide. Make sure you give this a good read. Normally, Be Quiet's instructions are very simple and effective. Also, you've got the layout of all the different components there, which is really good. Uh, how to actually install, depending on what socket version that you have. So make sure that you give this a really good read. Okay, so we'll just move the box out of the way and have a look and see what we've got on the inside here. Okay. 
so we've got some big white thermal paste we got your universal nice black metal um, back plate looks really good indeed nice you've got these anti-vibration protection here for when it's connecting onto the actual motherboard to obviously aid with the uh, protection looks really good very very well made indeed it's, again a nice little point that it's black I love the fact to be quite include additional fan brackets to install an additional fan onto the actual cooler if you did wish to um, quite what difference it would make to the performance I'm not too sure but the fact that they include them is something that's really good so we've got a bag here full of uh, all the various different screws and bolts and uh, clips that you might need as well as the rest of the uh, brackets for your AMD and your Intel installation okay so now on to our usual demo installation um, with the backplate uh, for uh, AMD and Intel all that you need to do is basically push the silver pins through the corresponding slots um, with regards to your type of motherboard now for a change we've gone for uh, an AMD setup on this once you push them through using these little black little pins or black little spaces you push this through on the motherboard side so obviously it then clamps uh, between the actual uh, plastic spacer and the actual foam part of the actual back plate on the motherboard so once that's installed you would then install your frame to the actual cooler itself the actual mounting frame so on this one like I said I've gone for the uh, AMD connection on here um, obviously if you were going to go for the Intel version you connect the Intel version up on there once that's been done you would then marry this up to your motherboard put obviously your, your paste on and obviously it would essentially go on like so and then for this particular AMD setup what you'd then do in fact I'm just going to turn it upside down because it's just going to make it a little bit easier for me um, once you've got them in place I see it's a lot easier to do when you're actually connecting it to the motherboard but from the back plate you'd then go ahead and I'll see screw the corners up on the actual mounting bracket like so I'll see in diagonal situation make sure not to over tighten the actual cooler and then essentially that's the mounting process for an AMD setup for the Dark Rock Pro 3 Okay, so on to a little bit more technical information and my personal thoughts on the Dark Rock Pro 3 from Be Quiet. Dark Rock Pro 3 is an absolute monster, but a damn good monster at that. The overall black finish with the top aluminium plate looks a real treat, and with the addition of the black braided cables, it complements the overall look. It comes with seven 6mm copper heat pipes, copper plate and an aluminium construction which has been machined very very well indeed and the twin tower heat sinks are a fantastic overall design. So on the front you get a 120mm Silent Wings PWM fan that has a maximum speed of 1700 RPM and is capable of shifting 57.2 CFM at 21.5 dBA. In between the two towers of 45 aluminium fins you will then find a 135mm Silent Wings PWM fan. This larger fan does actually rotate at a slower 1400 RPM but because of its bigger size it actually shifts 68 CFM at a noise level of 20.8 dBA. With the heatsink itself be quite have chosen not to close the sides off allowing more air to flow through and out of the actual heatsink as quickly as possible. A really good plus point is that you are able to add an additional fan to the back of the cooler with the spare fan clips that are included um, and if I was to recommend one I'd probably go for the 140mm silent wings fan to complement the actual overall look and design. On top of the two towers covering the fins and the fans is a dark coloured aluminium plate which has got the Be Quiet logo on top which looks absolutely fantastic indeed but it also enhances the structure's strength as well. Now the overall size is 150mm in length by 137mm in width and 160mm in height which means that you will need to make sure that you've got enough clearance for your RAM and VRM heat sinks as well as enough room inside the case to fit the monster. 
Now looking out the cooler you probably think that it's a bit of a pain in the ass to install but that isn't necessarily true as it is actually screwed in to the, uh, the motherboard and CPU via the back of the motherboard which does make it a lot easier to actually install. The only problem I found when doing this is that some of the thermal grease because you're trying to hold it and keep everything in place can get in places that you probably wouldn't want it to go. In fact, where possible, I would actually recommend installing the cooler to the motherboard outside of the case. With regards to clearance for your VRM heatsinks, as long as they're not oversized, this cooler should fit, although in my opinion it is just a little bit on the tight side. The adjustable height for the fans does help with this, um, and also with your RAM as well, so you shouldn't encounter any problems when it comes uh, to, to actually installing the actual heatsink and fans. Also, it shouldn't interfere with your roof fans as well. So overall, personally, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's going to finish off your system um, with if 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 you you're after a sort of dark, stealthy-looking cooler, this one is definitely the one for you. Um, very very good with regards to its cooling performance, as you'll find out when we do our test uh, video with the uh, the actual cooler. The noise level on it, thanks to Silent Wings fans, is is inaudible. Um, at low speeds obviously when you're ramping the the actual rpm up it does become a little bit uh, louder but to be fair it is what you'd expect from such a, a massive massive cooler the overall design of the aluminium heatsink and the fans and the aluminium top plate for me just just finishes it all off and it's a massive thumbs up for the overall design and look to be quiet so we hope you liked the video um, please leave a comment down below is this too big for you um, is it sort of overkill let us know and we look forward to seeing you in our next video we hope you liked our video review if you did then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website nismotech.com along with all the links for purchasing if you wish also on our site you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways plus a lot more we look forward to seeing you in our next review